we are already familiar with the various ways in which aldehydes and ketones can be prepared correct from simple oxidation of alcohols ozonolysis of alkenes hydration of alkenes using organometallic reagents reduction of acid chlorides esters are few of the methods by which aldehydes and ketones can be synthesized in fact we have many other specific reactions as well that specifically target the synthesis of a particular type of aldehydes like for example gatman koch reaction is used to obtain aromatic aldehydes basically we have a lot of methods by which these compounds can be synthesized but that is not the agenda of this video in this video we are going to solve a couple of questions on again of course the synthesis of aldehydes and ketones but using organometallic reagents so let's look at the first question here we need to predict the products formed in these reactions now the common thing in both of these reactions is that we are using a reducing agent so let me place it to the corner so we can see constantly throughout the video that this is the reaction that we need to focus on all right now the common thing in these two reagents is that both of these are using a reducing agent lithium aluminum hydride as we already know is a very strong reducing agent it provides the hydride ion that is required to carry out a reduction reaction now if you look at the structure of lithium aluminum hydride you can see that aluminum is bonded to four hydrogen atoms now the electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.2 while that of aluminum is 1.6 and as a result the hydrogens have more electron density around it which is why it gets a partial negative charge whereas the metal aluminum gets a partial positive charge so even though the formal charge of aluminum is minus 1 the actual electron density distribution is different the electron density is drawn closer to the more electronegative hydrogen atoms and the nucleophile here is the electron pair present in the alh bond but for simplicity we are going to refer to the nucleophile as the hydride ion because when this bond breaks the hydrogen atom leaves with an electron pair giving us a highly reactive and nucleophilic hydride ion all right so now that we have familiarized ourselves with the reducing agent lithium aluminum hydride let's see what happens in this reaction okay so when the acid chloride reacts with lithium aluminum hydride the hydride ion attacks the electron deficient or electrophilic carbon atom and shifts the electron density of the pi bond towards the oxygen atom so we end up getting a tetrahedral intermediate as you can see here so what we can also notice here is that we have a very good leaving group here which is the chlorine atom and because of that the tetrahedral intermediate immediately collapses in the next step with the elimination of the chloride ion and this gives us an aldehyde as we can see here now this aldehyde is also a pretty reactive carbonyl compound correct and this reacts again with lithium aluminum hydride where the hydride ion attacks the electron deficient carbonyl carbon and the pi electrons move towards our oxygen atom and we once again end up getting a tetrahedral intermediate as you can see here now the last step that we have is an acidic hydrolysis where the alkoxid ion gets protonated giving us a final alcohol so this reduction of acid chloride with a very strong reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride will eventually give us a primary alcohol because we have a highly reactive substrate acid chloride is one of the most reactive carbonyl compounds and at the same time we have a very reactive reducing agent as well and because of this complete reduction of carbonyl group takes place until we eventually get an alcohol so in this case acid chloride on reduction with a strong reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride will give us a primary alcohol so let's see what happens in the second reaction but before we jump on to the reaction directly let's compare and contrast our two reducing agents here we already know the structure of lithium aluminum hydride and this is what the structure of lithium tritiated butoxy aluminum hydride looks like pretty bulky right here we can see that three of the four hydrogen atoms have been replaced by very bulky sterically hindered tert butoxy groups and this steric hindrance has a lot of meaning to our chemical reaction you see these bulky tert butoxy groups create significant steric hindrance around the only reactive hydrogen atom here and makes it less accessible or less available for a nucleophilic attack and not just that the tert butoxy groups are also electron withdrawing because of the electronegative oxygen atom here and this further decreases the electron density available on the alh bond 
So now we not only have a sterically hindered nucleophile but also a less reactive nucleophile as the electron density is lesser in this case as compared to this case. So because of these factors the hydride ion in lithium triated butoxy aluminum hydride is much less reactive or in other words a lot more selective. So what does the selectivity mean in our reaction given here? Let's see. So here again the first step is the reaction of our acid chloride with the hydride ion of a reducing agent. Remember this reaction is usually carried out at very low temperature once again to decrease the reactivity. So the H minus ion attacks the electron deficient carbonyl carbon and the pi electrons move towards the more electronegative oxygen atom. And this attack gives us a tetrahedral intermediate as you can see here. In the next step the double bond is restored with the elimination of chloride ion. And this gives us an aldehyde as we can see here. This is something that we already saw in this case, correct? And the reaction stops pretty much here. That means the aldehyde does not undergo further reduction to give us a primary alcohol. So this reaction does not happen and that is the advantage that this bulky reducing agent gives us. The selectivity to stop the reaction at the aldehyde instead of going all the way to primary alcohol. And it is not only useful in case of acid chlorides, we can also use this reagent to reduce esters to corresponding aldehyde instead of again going all the way to primary alcohol. And this is because of the milder nature of a reducing agent that gives us a lot more selectivity in organic reactions. So to conclude, these are the two different products that we get when acid chloride reacts with lithium aluminum hydride and lithium triatered butoxy aluminum hydride. In this case, the reduction goes all the way to primary alcohol. And in this case, because of the greater selectivity of a reagent, we end up getting an aldehyde. So let's solve one more very interesting and a very similar type of question in the immediate next part of the video. Okay, I don't want to cover it here because it would become too heavy. So let's look at that question in our next video.